New at 7 tonight, Claremont police are crediting a mom with helping them get results and make an arrest. She kept her cool with her kids in the car as a woman with a knife tried to rob them at a drive-up ATM. She shared her story with News 6 reporter Amanda Castro. Police say the victim's maternal instincts kicked in and she got results because of her actions. They caught the suspect still armed with a knife minutes after they say she tried to rob the family here at this ATM. I knew automatically something is not right, um, and I was scared. I was very, very scared. Cherie Ordunia was at this Wells Fargo ATM Thursday night with her 17-year-old daughter and 11-year-old son when she says she noticed a woman walking up to their car. Saying, I need a dollar, give me money, and I saw her coming, so automatically I hit cancel on the ATM. I pulled the card out, and I put my window up. But Cherie says that didn't stop the woman. She walked right up to her window and pointed this knife at her still demanding cash and she tried opening my door several times. That's when I needed to get my kids to safety. That was my first priority was my children. She drove off and called 911 telling dispatchers what happened and giving a description of the woman and where she walked off. Claremont police showing up minutes later, finding her just down the street. When she was attempting to try to approach another vehicle, but he was able to intercept his vehicle and stop from, from engaging any other citizens. Police arrested 47-year-old Shanique Miller, charging her with attempted armed robbery with a deadly weapon. Cherie says she's still in shock, thinking of what could have happened. She could have sliced me with a knife. She could have stabbed me. She could have went after my kids. You know, there were so many th possibilities that could have happened. Police crediting her quick actions, saying she helped them get results. There's two forms of reactions, fight or flight. She basically did, she kicked into survival mode. Pretty heroic actions on her part. In Claremont, Amanda Castro, News 6. Miller is still behind bars tonight in the Lake County Jail. She is being held on $300,000 bond.